It's not uncommon to get data sets with hundreds or even thousands of variables. In situations like this, our first challenge is often narrowing down the variables we are actually interested in. The select function allows us to help us get the variables we are interested in by using operations based on the names of the variables. For the flights data set, this is not really useful because there are only 19 variables, but we'll use it to get the idea. So suppose I just want to get the year, month, and day of all flights in our data set and nothing else. So I'm going to go and write select, and then I'm going to pass my data set in, so flights, and then I'm going to go and put in year, month, and day. And now I have my data set with only uh, the year, the month, and the day uh, as output. Now I can write it like this, but if I want to select uh, several columns within a range, uh, I can just put a, a colon between year and day and I get all the columns that are between year and day inclusively. So I get the same exact output. Now suppose I'm interested in all of the information in our flights data set, except for what relates to the date information. So for me to go and do that, I don't need to go and select everything except for these flights. I could go and put th this in brackets and then put a negative sign in front of it. And the select function reads it that we want all the data except for these uh, variables. And there you have it. There are a number of helper functions that we can use with the select function. The text covers more, but I'm just gonna cover three of them. Uh, because uh, of their relevance to uh, our data set. So if we want to find any variable that starts with something, so for our example, we're going to use departure. What I just need to write is just write starts with, and then I write DEP, and I get the variables which start with departure or with DEP. And I have the departure time and I have the departure delay. Now, if I want to go and find variables that end with a certain word or a certain uh, string, what, I, what I'm going to go and use is that I'm going to go and use the ends with uh, function. And for this case, I'll use time and we'll get all the variables that have time at the end of them. So running that, I get the departure time, the scheduled departure time, the arrival time, the scheduled arrival time, and the air time. Now, sometimes, right, the variables that are relevant to us might not necessarily start or end with, with a given string. It might be contained within the name. So if I want to find more information about the departure time or departure in general, it's not enough for me to just use starts with departure time because there is a variable that is the scheduled departure time. So what I can use instead is use contains. And then if I put in DEP, I run it, I get the departure time, the scheduled departure time and the departure delay. So, that's all for now. I hope uh, you got a little bit of insight of using the select function. And in the next video, we're going to talk about the mutate function. And I'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching.